And thank you for staying with us, Citizen Weekend. We're not done yet. Tonight in studio, I get up close and personal to a gentleman who has won the hearts of many in East Africa and indeed beyond. That is Dr. Mitch Egwang. He's live in studio with me tonight. We get to know more about uh, this guy on our screens here on Citizen uh, TV. Definitely an interview you want to stay tuned for. But let's take a look at what Mitch does back home in Uganda. Kampala before we get to speak to him. Are you guys ready? We've got all of them Dr. here. Dr. Ronnie Mitch Egwang, charismatic, smooth talking, with a flexible personality and random unexpected quips. This songbird is never the last for words. Beautiful, sensuous, loving. I'm telling you, if you check in the Oxford Dictionary for the word unbelievable, you'll see Juliana Canyon. Oh, please. <laughs> so, <laughs> hey, Juliana, how you doing? How you Hi, doing, babe? Hi, sweetheart. How you doing? I'm, I'm fantastic. You it's great so to have you back. You look so You've been in, this, uh, in the gym. Oh, definitely. You, you know, every time, I'm, every time I'm lifting those weights, I'm thinking about you. Huh? You look <laughs> good. Oh, I'm loving it. I'm loving it. <laughs> All right. Viewers know Mitch for his witty side, and year after year, the husband and father of two has continued to grace your television screens on Tasker Project Fame. Away from TPF, Uganda is home to Mitch. Mitch starts his day spending time with his wife and daughter. He tells me he enjoys watching cartoons with his two-year-old daughter, after which he drives to work. Is that so? No, no. He is a business owner running a marketing and concept developing company called Eclipse. Mitch spends most of his day at the office, where among other issues, he and his team come up with event concepts, marketing strategies, and business solutions for corporates in Uganda and indeed Africa and beyond. Hi, my name is Dr. Guang. I'm calling from Kampala, Uganda. You have a conference you'd like us to, to help you organize in, in, in 2014. At work, Mitch is the boss. His witty persona that many identify him with shelved as he gets down to business. I'm not here, mm. let's say half of the year. Yeah. Oh, these guys do awesome without me. Mitch spends a lot of his time in the office where the images of three men he looks up to serve as an inspiration to keep him going even when things are tough. Opposite this wall is another wall he calls his wall of shame where he hangs what were once posters of events he was planning. Business is tough, he says. He went into heavy debt after losing money in these events where he invested a lot of his money and lost it. We set up in this office in 2007. So next year, we're, we're, we're going to be making seven years in this office. But undeterred, the Makerere University veterinary science graduate did not close shop. He learned from his mistakes and is now a household name in the industry. After a hard day at work, Mitch hits the road again, this time to the gym. As a much sought MC, he needs to stay in shape, he tells me. Focus, put your eyes here. Your abs also must be totally responsive. When you have abs, you can do this. <laughs> it shows that you're, you're totally in charge. He is a household name in Uganda, where the ladies particularly find his easygoing nature quite flattering, as is evident in this lady's reaction. This is your chance. Huh? A lot of people say that, oh, I'm unfair, I keep punching and never give you a chance to, to respond. Express yourself, Ian. East Africa, pray for Mitch. 
All right. Dr. Ronnie Mitch Egwang says what you see on TV is who he really is, outgoing, friendly, and witty. But together with that is an astute businessman whose services are currently on high demand globally as he traverses continents doing what he does best events. Is he laughing all the way to the bank? I ask. Let's just say that, that, that I'm very comfortable. Okay. I'm, I'm looking at retiring in the next two years. Wow. It's another remix on Citizen TV featuring Dr. M-I-C-H. What's up? Ah, oh, yeah. I'm chilling on the jaw on a Friday Eve. I'm holding the mic, you might think I'm Steve. Let me educate you. My name is Dr. Mitch, so sit back, relax, and don't you snitch. <laughs> <laughs> Mitch Eguang, Karibu, man. Thank asante, you. asante. Thank you so much for joining us in studio. You know, I spent a couple of, well, I spent a day in, in Kampala, and I learned a couple of words, and, and you know, you need oh, to actually way, be um, able to say some Swahili never paid, to You me. never paid for the drink, so the, the, I, I have the bill, so you, <laughs> you need to clear that. So, Oriata Sebo. Jendi Nyabo. Wow, okay. Oriota Nyabo. Okay, let's just stop there. <laughs> so, you're from Uganda. Yes, I am. Can you speak any Swahili? I know you. Unajua kidogo. Unajua kidogo. Yes. Okay. I, I can say all, all the important words. Nakupenda, nataka pesa. So at, all the other, all, all the, the the critical things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your upbringing. Where did you grow up? Um, I'm actually what you'd call a citizen of the world. Uh, I grew up actually in Kenya. Um, we spent a lot of time with, with my mom here when we were growing up in Nairobi, a little bit of time, I think it was in Nakuru. Um, then after that, we went to Canada, then we went to, to the US, I grew up in West Africa, um, a little bit of time in, in, in the UK, traveled quite a bit. Uh -huh. Yeah, so I'm your average, you know, young African hustler trying to make it. Right, and a global mind, and that's why we can't place your accent very articulate, oh, no, very no, you well, see, you see, well spoken. What you need to do is that you need to be able to modify. If you want me to speak like a Ugandan, <laughs> I can't speak like one. Just tell me, I'll just drop the words like that. <laughs> well, we'll get to that. So um, you grew up pretty much in Kenya, in Uganda, in the US, so you're a global mind. Um, let's talk about school. Um, yeah. I mean, you are called Dr. Mitch. Did Correct. you actually study medicine? or? Actually, I'm a, um, a lot of people think that the, the DR in front of my name is just actually to get chicks, okay? <laughs> or, or, or it's because, oh, you know, you know how people on TV like throwing all sorts of pseudonyms. I actually spent six grueling years at vet school in uh -huh. Uganda. Uh -huh. So I'm a veterinary doctor. And Where I'm, in Uganda? I'm Bakir University. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a canine specialist. Right. So if you've got dogs that you, that you have issues with, Throw them my way. Why a canine specialist? Why not cows or... You see, you, know? you have to be honest. You know, here in Africa, we have this mindset. You know, when your animals fall sick, a lot of guys would say, we'd rather eat it than treat it. Yeah. You see, but the good thing is that you can't eat your dog. <laughs> I'm hoping not. Yeah. yeah. Well, so you don't practice? Do you practice? I do practice, but I'm telling you, the demands that I have now make it quite difficult for me. I, I had a very, you know, small niche group of, of people whose dogs I do treat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So totally different career path yeah. um, you know I spend a bit of time with you in your office yeah. you're big on marketing big on events how did this come about um, well I, I think it was it was actually probably God leading me on a certain path because by the time I was in third year I got my first TV engagement and I got my first radio engagement and I started working with different companies and I felt that was my passion. Mm -hmm. And I think it's, a, it's, it's an important thing for, for, for parents and even for, for guardians to give proper you know, career guidance. Because huh? right. a lot of times they say, oh, you know, you got to be a doctor, you got to be a, 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 maybe a, an architect or, 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 or maybe a banker. They, they forget that there are other things that you could be passionate about. And if people had given me that opportunity, I think I could have chosen something else. So the veterinary science was pretty much because you were doing it because somebody that she looked at you know, you know my, my dad my dad is a is a vet doctor okay and he's a scientist at the same time so a lot of times you know you want to emulate and and at the same time it's also about 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 status you know you you'd like to do a course which people respect you when they see you you see so I, I think I, I got the best of both worlds mm -hmm. I got the education at the same time I got the glitz right yeah so I mean we see you on our TV screens and the first time I saw you uh, what, was you, on you like deal <laughs> Well, you were presentable, good presenter. I thought um, you had the skills, yes. I, I, I don't want you to lie. 
I've looked at videos of myself on Deal or No Deal, and I was skinny. Mm -hmm. it's looked as, it looked as if I was malnourished, as if, as if the world had not yet started spinning. So that was your debut on TV, Deal or No Deal in South actually, Africa? Actually, it wasn't. Actually, it mm -hmm. wasn't. I did a TV show in, in 1998. It's called SQ98. It was, um, it was a Ugandan thing, okay? Um, but after that, I, I never actually thought of myself as being somebody who was cut out for TV. Mm -hmm. In fact, I, I'd worked on radio for nine years. Mm -hmm. I worked on, f um, I think, three different radio stations. In Uganda? In Uganda. I worked at Sanyo FM, it's the oldest radio station in Uganda. I worked on, on Power FM. That was my first job. It was a... Um, it was a Christian and secular radio station. Then I worked at, at KFM. It's right. a sister station to Easy FM in, in, you, in, in Kenya here. So this persona, this screen persona, yeah. you know, deal or no deal, and of course transitioning from radio to TV, this just comes naturally or is this who you are, you know, I spend a lot of time with you and I think really who you are I'm, here I'm, and who I'm you I'm are I'm out there is just... Do you, do you think that I'm putting on a facade? Do I look like a... Because like, a lot of people do that, you know, they... they on TV, you try to be someone else, then when you go out, you're conservative, you, you, you hold back. Let me tell you something, challenge me. Meet me on the streets, whatever road it is, Moy Avenue, whether it's Waiaki Way, stop me and say, Mitch, hey, what's up? <laughs> Mambo, are you fit, what? And trust me, we will converse as if we've met and we've known each other for years. So, yeah, a lot of people would imagine then this easygoing guy with that quick tips. Not that you're stuck up, but that perhaps you might be a bit of a party animal, are you one? Party animal? Yeah. <laughs> Actually not. You'll be shocked. First of all, um, people don't believe it, but I don't drink at all. The madness that you see here is innate. <laughs> it's in my DNA. <laughs> so it, it, it's, it's not Dutch courage at all. Mm -hmm. And I, I think I've had a very astute upbringing you know my, my mom was, re was was actually really really tight and she used to make sure that a hey, we head in on the straight and the narrow right and, and then again also you know, being responsible is something which which um, over time being the eldest in my family is, is something that I that I had to what I had to adopt mm -hmm. yeah. and talking about being responsible tell us about your family you know is there a lady in your life Children, um, family. Yeah, I'm just wearing this ring to chase away all the <laughs> hordes of, 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 of no, ladies who are looking do that for my sometimes. number. Is that so? Yeah. Oh, it's not bad. I'll, I'll wear three <laughs> rings next time. No, no, I've been married since um, 2006. I've got a beautiful daughter called Michelle, named after me, of course. And um, she's, she's two and a half now. And, um, well, I, I, think it, I think it's good. You know, what happens is that sometimes you need to get grounded a bit. You know, um, when you're in the media, um, opportunities fly so much out your way and then, then sometimes you can get lost. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you need things to, to, to ground you back. So family is one thing and I think it's very important. So it keeps you grounded. Keeps you grounded. And I think also setting up my own business is another thing because minus my family at home, I have a family also at Eclipse because mm -hmm. those are the people whom I've got to take care of. Every single month I'm thinking so I've got 32 people who keep looking up to me and saying, uh-huh, boss, where's the salary? So hmm? you've got 32 employees, and I, and I chatted with some of them, and they, they said, what, what, you know, you're an what amazing they say, What did they say? Oh. <laughs> they said you're an amazing okay. boss. You take okay. good care of them. But then again, yeah. what else would you say about your <laughs> boss, right? Um, let's go to Tasca Project fame. Yes. And, and, you know, you having to come in after Gaetano, you know, yeah. and sort of, you know, be under the spotlight in that way, you know, are you going to match up? Are you going to, um, you know, be able to fit into those shoes? But then yeah. again, you know, you did pretty well. And Kenya uh, just, just and a good East question. Africa How much longer you? do we have for the interview? <laughs> let's, let's, let's keep talking. It's interesting. As no, long I, as I it's just want to find out. I'm, just, I'm, trying to, I'm just trying to, to, to plan my... We have some time. Could. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. um, I, I think um, the challenge was it was uncharted territory. And with every new opportunity that you're given, you start on a blank slate. I tell you the truth, people hated my guts. They were saying, who the heck is that black Jama who comes here thinking that he can he can he can take over and, and start doing a show that that has been there for three seasons and and what does he think now you see what you do is that when you have people who are giving you that much resistance you use that resistance because you see it's, it's energy so turn that energy into positivity so I took it and and and, not, and, and on that um, I know some presenters uh, you know have been discouraged and you know social media can be quite harsh and you know sometimes some of the comments that people throw you away some of the things that people say can take you aback a bit and you're like wait a minute is this what I really want to do have you ever been there I, I, I think I think the advantage that I have is that before I did TV I'd done a lot of MC I think till date I'm, I'm bordering on probably 1,900 different events that I've done mm -hmm. since 
way back in 1990. You name it, all sorts of events from corporate to concerts and the rest. And I now have to deal with audiences. Now audiences sometimes can, can be very, let's say, apathetic. They can be unapologetically aggressive. And what you have to do is that you have to learn how to take that negative energy and throw it back at them. Oh. And I love people challenging me. And that's, how, that's actually how I, how I warm up the audience. Um, I, I hear you're going to come and watch our show over the weekend. Is that true? Is that <laughs> I true? Will. I will. Make, I will I'm, make my way I'm there. I'm giving you I VIP <laughs> seats. Uh -huh. And you're going to see exactly that's what's going to happen. You're going to have people in the audience who are going to heckle you. And I love hecklers. Those are the guys I single out because everybody has this, you know, this mob mentality. But you find one person, squeeze. Yeah, especially the ladies. And let's talk about the Even ladies. especially the ladies. You're a bit of a flirt, you know. You <laughs> <laughs> Please edit Juliana. that. Edit that right now <laughs> from the TV. Let's talk about that. I mean, you're you're really charming to them. A lot of them really smile, you know, when you say those those nice things that you say to them. Like but what? How does, like what? Like, you know, sexy Juliana, hot Juliana, beautiful. Um, so you're saying one you, of you the think Juliana is ugly? Juliana is very okay. stunning. Right, she's yeah. stunning. She's, you know, she's breathtakingly yeah. beautiful. But let's talk about how the lady at home takes that. Let me tell you something. Yeah? If you now are going to start controlling me and telling me what to say on TV. Now you're talking yeah? like an African <laughs> man. <laughs> it's, I, I, it's my responsibility to go there and to deliver. Huh? East Africa wants entertainment. Now you want me to go and say, oh, Juliana, you look nice. <laughs> who, who the heck wants to hear that? Huh? Me, when I tell Juliana that she looks like a sweating glass of water in the desert, uh, you know, the image is already building in people's minds. Uh, that's what people want to hear. Huh? So you most, tell them. Your most embarrassing moments on the show, have you had any awkward moments? On, on Tusca? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. I, I think it was um, last season. You know the social media thing? You, you can. I, I think sometimes my mouth moves faster than my brain does. And... I, I like trying to come up with, with, with new terminologies. <laughs> so I was coming up, you know, people have words like, like my tweeps, um, my, my whatever you call them. I tried to come up with mine, not knowing that the word had another significance. So as soon as the show ended, man, social media went wild. Can you imagine? Mitch just called us a beep and, and it went on. Imagine even we went up to, to my bosses in EABL, they were saying, that young man's mouth is, 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 is a risk. It's out of control. We, we must sit down in it. So, um, I, I, so I you've got into a bit of trouble. Yeah, you know, I did. But then again, you see, trailblazers always get into trouble. Mm -hmm. You see, if you sit in the class and in the back, nobody will pay attention to you. That's good. And yeah. I hope somebody took note of that. Your beef with Ian, is that for real or is just that for uh, Ours is not even beef. Ours is bigger than beef. Ours is <laughs> beef. It is, it is, it is poultry. It is, it is. You name it. Every single thing. But I think sometimes, you know what happens? Do you know how much, how much? I, I think courage it takes to first of all audition for Tusker Project fame. Uh -huh. Then after that, step on the stage. Then after that, learn a song which you probably never heard before and go out there and belt it out to over 20 million people in East Africa. Then somebody says, "You are okay." Uh -huh. However, <laughs> and, uh, what the heck are you saying? <laughs> this, you, sh you should first of all start by saying fantastic rendition, nice stuff, but the areas you need to improve are A, B, and C. But you know in life we need criticism and that is how we grow. But how you bring it out is an important thing. So mm -hmm. if he's being abrasive, let me abrace him too. So are you smiling all the way to the bank with TPF? I mean, we hear you get this A treatment, limousine rides, you know, presidential suites, bodyguards. Really, Mitch? Uh, you're not as down to earth as you're trying to no, make no, Let me tell you what. I am down to earth. Mm -hmm. but, but let me tell you something. Huh? If you pay peanuts, you get monkeys. So again, also, you as an individual should state your, 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 state your claim. If you deserve something, tell them that you deserve something, right? If I sat back and said, oh, it's okay, you guys can pay me anything you want. I'll do the show. I, I love you. Oh. Forget you. <laughs> I've got, if I'm doing a good, in fact, in fact, if my bosses from EABL are watching, I'm in it for the money. I want to do a great job this season. Next year, you should double my salary. So, you know, um, just the fact that you're in it as a bonus for you, of course, um, as the host of TPF. Uh, let's go back to what you do back at home in Kampala, your your company, and the fact that um, you've had setbacks previously. Um, yeah. You were previously in debt, and you came out and were very vocal about the fact that that, was, that dented you a bit. Uh, it didn't dent me a bit. It dented me a lot. Mm -hmm. You see, the thing, the thing is that with, with businesses, um, you can never know what's going to be around the corner. But you see, if you decide to stop today, 
Let's imagine, Lillian, today you had your own business and, and you, you hit a pothole in the road, okay? And you decided to throw in the towel. But then, two weeks later, there was a pitch for a multi-million dollar engagement. And they were looking for your company. But guess what? You went out of business two weeks ago. Uh -huh. So what happens is that you must keep on. Donald Trump, how many times did he go broke? I think twice or thrice. And he's still one of the richest guys in America. Mm -hmm. So I think it's important that, that you understand that the challenges must be there in a business. And I've had my fair share of them. And the good thing is that you learn from them. Right. And you're doing very well, household's name, very sought after. You have yeah, a significant let's, share of no, the no, market. No, I no, don't, I don't think you're being, you're being honest. Um, <laughs> Eclipse is one of the, the, the top three events and marketing companies in Uganda. So. Fantastic, yes. bravo. Yeah. Free so, advertising. On so Facebook. as we wind up, Mitch, we're pressed for time. Something that not a lot of people actually said nobody, that you've never told anybody. We're buddies, you can tell me. About what? Tell me anything about you that people don't know. Uh, I can't do that on TV. No, you, you can, trust me. And you think I'm going to tell you? <laughs> I, I, 20 million people out there also. You well, okay, fine. I forget you're on TV yourself. So when you're not presenting, what do you like to do? I like chilling out. In fact, the reason I was asking you is that you know, people are saying that I wear suits the entire show, okay, on T Tusca Project fame. In fact, so you better switch off my lapel because I, I want to just actually relax a bit. <laughs> I hope you don't mind, huh? You know, they, they said, you know, people are saying, oh, no, you Mitch, it's, it's important for you. Use your handheld, oh. yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were saying, oh, Mitch, you know, it's, it's important for you to relax. So I decided that I'm going to come in on the show, wear, wear, a, wear a suit, <laughs> but then at the same time, also, you know, relax a bit. And, and okay, stop there. No, I no. hope you're not going all no, the no, way. No, I'm not going all the way. Just that I had to. No, check this out. No? Mm. So this is, this, is, this is how I relax over the week. Mm? <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah. Okay. So Unbelievable. This is me. This is me. This, uh -huh. this, this, this and what does your t-shirt say? No, Let's get a shot of that. The t-shirt says that I'm a Ugandan, okay? We, we eat Rolexes, we don't wear them. <laughs> <laughs> So, so I this you eat my token. No, 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 no. So, so this is this is how I am. I chill over the weekend. I love playing pool. And you're you're in good shape. You look good. Oh, please stop it. Oh, grab the arms, please. Please no. grab the arms. <laughs> grab the arms, man. It's important, man. Triceps, biceps. No, but I love going to the gym. Um, I love my pool. Um, I love watching movies. I love traveling. Um, I love spending time with my friends. I'm a I'm a real stickler for friends. If you're my friend, I keep you for life. Uh -huh. Um, what else? Um, I think that's basically me. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, um, looking forward, of course, what are we expecting to see from Mitch, you know, in coming years? You know, obviously TPF right now. Yeah. You've been consistently doing it. And a lot of people, actually, somebody here said, there's no TPF without Mitch, so yay for you. But what, what are we expecting to see from you in coming years? Well, to tell you what, you might even see less of because uh -huh. actually I, I was not kidding when I told you I was going to retire. But what I want to do is that I want to take every single day as it comes and I want to take every opportunity as it comes. Because I believe in life, when God puts something on your way, don't let it pass by. Uh -huh. Because you never know where, where I'll be. I could be co-hosting a show with you here. Is, is, are there any openings? I know. I mean, <laughs> we'll talk to my boss about <laughs> that. But it's been an absolute pleasure to have you here. Um, we know that there are things that you do very well. You're a host, first of all, question number one. Yeah. Can you sing? You host TPF, but can you sing? Um, you rap, can you sing? Let me just say that I, I think my voice is not too bad, yeah. but, but I, I think I'll, I'll keep my day job. Mm -hmm. I'll keep my day job. <laughs> Rapping, yeah, I, I could learn a few verses here and there. Mm -hmm. yeah. And before we go to what else we know you do very well, or at least you think you do very well. What's that? East Africa will judge and yeah. indeed diaspora will judge. Yeah. Uh, maybe just throw some words of encouragement to, you know, young guys out there who look up to you, you know, who think Mitch is this guy who is so confident, you know, stands up there, doesn't really care what people think about him, has a really good time and then gets the show done, gets his money, goes home and, you know, life goes on. Just encourage someone out there who perhaps thinks they don't have it in them, but wants to be a Mitch someday, just like you are. No, actually, um, it's, it's interesting that you mentioned that because while I was growing up, a number of people were telling me, look, take one route and stick to it or be a vet doctor and you can only be a vet doctor. But that's not the right thing to tell your kids. What you should do is that tell your kids to explore opportunities and absorb every single skill that you can. If it's a language, learn a language. If, it is a, if it's dancing, learn how to dance. If it is learning how to, to do public speaking, do that. If it's studying, study as many things as you can because who knows what is going to be able to help you. The fact that I speak French, the fact that I'm a doctor, and the fact that I can do public speaking has opened up so many doors for me. So my advice to you is that take, take my principle. Life is like an apple on a tree. If you're taking a, a journey somewhere, 
reach out and grab it. Don't say, I'll come and pick it up. Because guess what? Lillian could be walking behind mm -hmm. and she'll grab that apple and take a bite out of it. Row, row. See? <laughs> well, it's been an absolute pleasure spending time with you, Mitch. And, you know, just talking to you, I've learned uh, so am much. I, am I getting a copy of this, this DVD? You will. Oh, fantastic. And Good really, time. some of these things you can ask me after the show. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry. Sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, yeah, it's been great um, getting to know you. Really easygoing person. I think really humble despite your success. Thank you. You know, you've done really well for yourself. You've done East Africa proud. We've embraced you in Kenya. Embrace us in Kampala. You know, we hope when we I come there, we'll get... I love East Africa. <laughs> yeah. Je vous aime tous. Uh, Anamaru Wood Dutch. That, that's that's Luo. Oh, you're Luo, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? You're Luo? Anamaru Wood Dutch. Donguna Ber. Anamaru Wood Ba. He's from the northern parts of Uganda. Yes. That's true. All right, Mitch. Well, we're done, but... The DJ in the house, I asked him what his mama calls him. He tells me he's called DJ Mogo by his mom. You're you Mugo. No, they call him <laughs> DJ Crossfade. But Mugo, DJ Crossfade. Yeah. I wanted to know what his mom calls Mugo him. Mugo in Uganda means a stick. Really? <laughs> so I'm wondering if the guy hits the, hits the discs, man. <laughs> So, well, um, you know, you told me you're a good dancer, and I want you to show no, 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 no. Africa. No, 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 no. No, I let did, them be the judge, I didn't please. tell you. You really like this to blow your This is common knowledge. Uh -huh, it was it? on my contract on Tasker Project Fame. That you can dance. The host must be able to throw down. No, that move you did for Divange, that, that Divange move, that's not Which how Divange dances on Sunday. Wait, wait, let me tell you something. <laughs> I'm versatile. In fact, oh, man, Mugo. Let, 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 let's finish this up like like real men and women. Let's go. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I want to see I'm, this. No, can I apologize first of all? <laughs> for who? I, I'd like to apologize to East Africa for making Lillian Muli look bad because uh, <laughs> this is her show, but uh, I must do this. There must be someone who puts her in her place. <laughs> so, so, um, now, DJ, hello, hello. No, wait a second. Um, since this is this is your home, I'm gonna giving you the, the honors. No. Please kick it off. Please, by all means, you go first. No, it's ladies first. Come no, on. No, I insist. Okay, DJ, <laughs> give me my song then. That's not my song. She chose I hear one song. I want mine. Yeah. All right. All right. So that, that's not my song, Madna. Um, um, I think you can low. Stop, stop. Um, I think this is the time okay, when we okay, go to the commercial, okay, right? You're good. You're can good. we go to the commercial? You've done, you've done well. You've done well. Congratulations. <laughs> no, Thank but, you but so second, much. I think it's really only fair that East Africa sees that, that, that Lillian can dance too. I can't dance though. DJ, please. I cannot dance. DJ, please. <laughs> go Lillian. Go Lillian. Go Lillian. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, 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 so. All right, all right, so. all right, uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you very much. Why do Kenyan chicks do this when they're dancing? I have no <laughs> idea. You should be telling me. You should be telling me. But I've had a fantastic time. Yeah, I know, awesome man. Time. You are good people. Oh, thank you very thank much. Thank you so much for coming by. My pleasure. And, you know, I'm coming to watch you on Sunday. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Um, I'm going to give you the same star treatment that you've given me. Oh. Thank you very much, East Africa. My name is Dr. Mitch, and I've been chilling with Lillian Muli right here on Citizen Weekend. Are we done? We are done. Are we Thanks for we watching, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good night.